Welcome back to the page. Today we're going over the golf cart I made. It's a 1990s Easy Go marathon that we stuck a 220 uh, Kawasaki Bayou in. The back's made out of a wagon I found on the curb. And the fuel tank for it is off an old generator. It fit in there real nice. We cut out all the frame in the back where the batteries went, everything under the back end, pulled the axle out, completely stripped it out, and uh, cut the front end of the ATV off. Let me get the seat off. And slid it in. We welded a cross beam in across here, and then I tucked all my electrical up high up here. We put a bar across the front, welded the front of the frame to it. We cut it right down where the handlebars were and right in front. And then my throttle uses the original throttle, but I had to make up this little bracket here. I slid the original handle, get you a better picture, original handle on. When you hit the throttle, it just moves it back and forth it works real well we have not figured out brakes yet the shifter we just cut a hole in the front here ran it straight back to where it originally was it has its full motion and uh, as you can see sorry for the bad camera work as you can see we cut a hole for the shifter, it comes all the way up to the seat there. I got kind of lazy when I got to that. You got your kill switch, electric start, which doesn't work, your choke, and your headlights, and then your reverse lockout. And then we wired up some pod lights on the front. They're pretty cheap, $20 on Amazon. Can't beat it. Overall, it's pretty fast. Let me get it started here. Fires right on up every time. We'll idle there all day long. Then the bed just has some metal, random metal welded on. Had to make it fit. This bed converts into a flat bed, all the sides fold down. We also had to do some spacers on it, which you can't see, but we had to put wheel spacers. We had to put wheel spacers on it. We had to put these on uh, to get it out from under this rail you can see where it was rubbing and it still rubs occasionally but it's nowhere near as bad this one i haven't got the spacer on yet you can see how far under that that tire is so there's our golf cart we're going to be building another one here pretty soon it's going to have a 600 cc motor on it off of an old mower well, like and subscribe. I hope you like the golf cart, and if you have any questions how we did anything, just ask.